Welcome to Teach Me Money Methods. Let's check out another money making YouTube channel idea. So right here on the search bar on YouTube, and all I'm going to do is just type in how to make and we're going to just leave this and start looking at whatever is auto suggested right here, right? So uh, you have elephant toothpaste. I have no idea what that is. Paper sword, venom and tabs, squid game cookies. All these are really great keywords. Uh, this one right here, two, three, four, five, six keywords, um, a long tail keyword right there. Uh, so that's very niched down, narrow down. But what we're going to be talking about today is the food and recipe videos niche, right? So this is educational and it's food related. So you're sub niching down, you're teaching people how to cook. People are looking the stuff up because when you're talking about millions and millions, I don't even know, possibly billions of views are uh, well yeah we know billions of views uh, per day on youtube and when you type in how to make look at what shows up how to make pancakes so one two three four five the sixth most searched term on youtube for how to make how to right how to make something is pancakes then we have candy then we have french toast right i mean these are more popular then the make money online niche period, right? You can come down here, scrambled eggs. Let's go and check one out right here. Fried rice. We're going to click on fried rice. We're going to see the videos that show up. You have over here, 1.9 million subscribers. We're probably not going to be able to compete with that. Right. But what I like to see is when you look at how to make fried rice and you see channels that only have 45,000 subscribers, look at this, but I'm going to show you how you can get into this niche. We can keep scrolling down here and most on this first page are going to be millions of subscribers. Uh, 40, just under 50,000 is going to be the best that you can do getting into this niche, right? So it is going to be very hard to rank on this first page for how to make fried rice, but check this out. And then we can look over here at vidIQ at 37, not the best score. I like it to be um, at 50 or higher uh, to consider the keyword. Now we could come over here and I don't agree always with, uh, t uh, with tube buddy. They're saying it's a very good keyword at 63. Um, I disagree with that. I like to f uh, go somewhere in between. I do like to look at both scores. And a lot of times I like to see when I get a good score on tube buddy and a good score over 50 on vidIQ. Um, that that's going to be a better keyword to go after. But what I do like about TubeBuddy, and I do have a premium membership to TubeBuddy, and you can go check that out with the link below. But what I like about this is that it gives a lot of keyword suggestions of, for what you can make your video on. If you wanted to get into this niche right here, how to make uh, fried rice, uh, like I said, it's going to be really hard to rank right here. You're probably not going to get any views, to be honest, if you just create that video and throw it up on YouTube. It's just not niched down enough. But look over here at all these other niched down uh, keywords. And chances are we'll be able to find one in here with all these long tail keywords that is going to be easier. We're going to see the score for 63. We'll see that go up. We'll also look for a keyword that has better than 37. Let's see if we can find one for 50 or above on vidIQ. Then we know we're, we have more of a chance of getting views. So I like to come through here. And let's just look at one, uh, make it without soy sauce. Well, just don't put soy sauce in it. <laughs> that one's pretty obvious. Um, but people are searching for this, right? These are keywords that people are actually typing in up here to the search bar on YouTube. Let's go over here and how to make fried rice on a griddle. I like that because I make fried rice. I usually use a wok to do it. So I want to know how to make fried rice on a griddle and see what people's techniques there. It's going to be more about the cooking technique. So what you're going to do is we're just going to click on this. Okay. You'll see that it's going to automatically go to the search bar up here, how to make fried rice on a griddle. Now uh, we're going to let this load real quick. Now check this out. VidIQ has a 57 score. Uh, there's lower competition and there's still high search volume. So it's a good keyword. You can get these different stats over here. And what I like to do is come down here and you can also see 
So you can also see that the vidIQ score went up from 63 to 75. We're almost in the excellent keywords. You could keep uh, searching uh, further, but we know we're into something good here. I like to analyze what's going on, right? So you have um, under 100,000. So now you're not looking at millions of subscribers on the channel. Now you're looking at uh, 87,000 subscribers right here uh, with the um, wall twins. And then you have uh, set only 17,000 subscribers right here with Griddle with Johnny and they're getting 241,000 views on this. And this is only from six months ago. And then you can look over here. Um, these guys are all over Walt twins. And you can see over here, if we look through, you can actually look at right here where there's some, even some more keywords, how to make fried rice on a black stone griddle and how to make shrimp fried rice on a black stone griddle. So those two more keywords, I'm going to right click and Actually, we're just going to go and open this up real quick. We're going to click on that one. See if we can do even better than 75 with TubeBuddy and the 57. So see if we can find a good balance of score. So then it dropped down on this one with TubeBuddy. It actually, let's see right here. TubeBuddy went to 51. So it's really not uh, saying that in this case, narrowing down specifically, uh, it's saying that it wouldn't uh, be totally beneficial. But what you can see right here is all these people doing black stone griddle. Of course, you're going to have to have a black stone griddle. So this might not be for everyone, but you can see uh, black stone and all it's very uh, targeted right there, right? So we're going to go back to our other keyword that we found that we really, really like. We're going to look a little bit more at the channels and then I'm going to show you how you can actually go about getting these created getting videos created on uh, this type of YouTube channel. And then let's go and see how much money these guys are making. So we're going to check out uh, griddle with Johnny, the wall twins and uh, one other one over here. So let's go check these ones out real quick. So we're on the wall twins. They have 365 uploads. They've been around for four years. Uh, so they've been getting busy uh, with uh, these cooking videos. Uh, they have over 6 million views, eight, almost 100,000 subscribers. So really, really cool. They've got a B score and they're making around 1.6 um, thousand monthly earnings just from YouTube ads. And this is not including any affiliate links. Um, and they're getting one to 200 uh, new subscribers a day. So you can see that they're on a major upward trend. They are growing and so forth. Let's go look at another one real quick. So the griddle with Johnny um, is a B minus score. They've been around for the same amount of time. They've only done 90 uploads. So they have uh, the other uh, team has done about five more, five times the amount of videos, four to five times more. They have 17,000 views, but just check it out. They're making almost a thousand dollars a month from this little tiny YouTube channel. And they've had 1.6 million views and they're growing as well. Uh, so there is definitely a trend and a need for these kind of videos. You can also double down on this content and take your video and also take it to uh, TikTok as well. You can create uh, shorter form content and you can uh, double down and grow a TikTok uh, channel and a YouTube channel at the same time. So uh, here's souped up recipes, 252 uploads. They have almost a million subscribers and they are also putting out recipe type videos. They've had 69 million views and they've been around since 2017. So the same amount of time and they're making around $11,000 a month just from uh, their YouTube ads uh, revenue. And we can come down here and that's has been nice and steady right here. And they're getting a thousand to 2000 subscribers a day. So, uh, you could analyze multiple more and more channels, but I wanted to analyze the, uh, not just the ones that have millions of subscribers. And you can see that even the small channels that only have 17,000 subscribers are making uh, good money. So what would you do to create this kind of video, right? We come back over here. We want to make a, how to make fried rice on a griddle. Uh, very targeted. Well, we can come over and we can go to Fiverr and hire someone. Just type in, go over to Fiverr and type in recipe video. And there's 350 people that are offering this service. You can look over here. And I really like this because it's kind of like the Amazon of services online. You can tell by the amount of reviews that they have and people that are leaving feedback. You can see if it's the right 
type of video and the right uh, person that you want to buy it from, uh, you can go and check these out and just see if it's the right fit for you and also the right price and so forth. So I wouldn't recommend just getting the one that um, they're selling the same video to everybody. You want a custom video made for you. This one starts off at $40. I think I found one over here that starts off at $20. They have 73 five-star reviews. We'll go and check them out real quick. And you can see over here, they have different, uh, different stuff. You can push play and check out the different stuff that they've done. Uh, look at this. Uh, so you've got the basic version. You're going to get one simple recipe video, only drinks, teas, coffees, juices, or shakes with two pictures, music, and captions. They'll deliver in five days. It's only $20 and look at it's these kind of, of style videos. Really, really nice. nice overhead uh, video there. Uh, these po these videos are very, very popular. Now you can go and find someone that will actually do it like a, um, like host it and narrate while they're showing themselves on camera. That's probably going to cost you more money, but these videos are very popular for like TikTok and YouTube as well. So now you can move up to the standard package at $30. It's a medium recipe with four to five main ingredients which are the ones that are for the most part, very popular. So this is probably where you would want to go is the $30 range right here, two to three pictures, music captions. And then you have the premium is going to be the, um, the full package, which I would say is probably this one right here, the complex recipe video, three to four pictures, music captions, color grading, logo, intro, everything, uh, for $40. So you can go and just keep looking at the different, uh, different services and you'll find the right one um, for you to make your videos, but this is just a great niche to get into. And there's so many untapped keywords. When you type in how to make fried rice on a griddle and the top ranking video has a quarter million views on it and they only have 17,000 subscribers. And then the third one that's ranking right here only has 7,000 subscribers. You have a really good chance of getting into this niche. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to share these types of ideas with you because one of these hopefully will resonate with you and your skills and your interests. And if you'd like to cook, you could actually create these uh, by with yours uh, by yourself and not outsourcing them. So you could save on the content creation. If you like to cook, you could do these videos yourself. Just learn how to create these style videos and you could create these yourself and you don't even have to be on camera. Look at this. You don't have to be on camera to make this work. Look, no one's on camera showing themselves. They're showing the cooking part. That's all that people really care about. And so uh, you can also, even if it's a recipe that you don't really know um, what to do, you just go and watch another person that's done it and then make your own video about it. So really cool niche. Um, if you like this kind of content and just go ahead and hit that like button, it really helps out the channel. And if you're not subscribed and you want more content like this, make sure to um, subscribe and turn on those notifications. And thanks for stopping in and thanks for making it this far in the video. I'll see you in the next.